Hello and welcome, I'm JD, and today we're going to have a look at the mod Fleet Editor Hotkeys by Not So Lone Wolf. Now he's made a few mods uh, that provide tweaks uh, to the Fleet Editor, so uh, definitely have a look on Steam uh, for his collection. So what is this mod? Well, this mod's going to add the ability to um, quickly delete, copy paste, and then cut paste uh, components from uh, one location into another, and it's done by mousing over the component in question and then pressing the relevant hotkeys. Now these hotkeys will be familiar to the ones that you may use uh, day to day in like Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel if you um, use those uh, fairly frequently. So it should be um, something that is quite intuitive for people to pick up and run with. So let's just go through the list. Um, here I have a light cruiser, I've added a Mark 64. And if I want to delete this, all I need to do is take my mouse, hover over the component and then press Control D and that's deleted. So previously, if you wanted to get rid of a Mark 64 uh, or any component, you would have had to come back in to the menu, open it up, and then you would have had to scroll all the way up to the top and press remove. And that's a lot of work when you're trying to build something out really quickly or you're jumping into a, a game uh, you know, in a lobby and that's you know, uh, people are waiting on you and you're just trying to move things from here to there. That takes a lot of effort. Uh, so that's a great quality of life feature right there. Another thing that you can do, let's add it back in, uh, is you can cut it from one location to another. So here I am again, I'm going to mouse over, I'm going to press Control X to cut, and when I come down to the mount where I actually want it to sit, I'm going to press Control V like you would do uh, in Microsoft, uh, just to paste. Now because I've uh, now shown you the paste feature, you can actually paste multiple into any of the slots that allow you to um, hold that component. So if I come down here, for example, to a two by two by two and I press control V, which I'll do right now, nothing happens. Why does it happen? Why does nothing happen? Well, because it's only uh, a two by two by two and you need a three by four by five. Um, if you come down into compartments, same deal, control V's, uh, I'm spamming it, nothing's happening, happening and uh, same deal down in the modules. Uh, you can also copy. So if I was to uh, take a Defender and in fact, I actually don't want to uh, cut it, I just press Control C and then Control V down. And look how quick I can now build out this light cruiser um, to be able to uh, make an effective uh, ship without actually having to come through and press when I was at one, scroll, two, three clicks. You're sort of just pressing you're doing that once and then you're using copy and paste or cut paste to, to get things where you want really quickly. Um, you can even do this across ships, I'm pretty sure. So control X. Yeah, there you go. Look, um, paste that in. Let's just control, copy paste the defenders and easy done. Now let's try it with something like um, ammunition. So how many times have you come in here? You've added a whole bunch of shells. Can we copy and paste? Uh, okay, so it doesn't. You won't be able to retain your loadouts, unfortunately. Uh, that would have been great, but you, that is a limitation. So you can do the component, but what if something's within a um, component, such as uh, ammunition? I'm pretty sure ammunition's the only thing that would uh, occur. Um, you, you're not going to be able to to do that. Actually, let's have a look at a VLS, for example, because that's probably the other option. That's the other thing that something fits into. Uh, let's just add some chaff and hovering over it, control C. Okay, so we've tested out uh, both in the ammunition and in the missiles. Uh, you're going to have to add those in manually. However, I think that's still a great and effective um, tweak that's been added to the game because now you can just move these around wherever you need them to go um, and you don't actually have to spend all those button clicks and helps you flesh this out very, very quickly. And so that's it. I just wanted to do a uh, very quick video uh, to showcase this one. Um, maybe I'll do some more uh, mod uh, sort of showcases or highlights in the future. But I just thought, hey, look, if you're getting into the game or you're an existing person, you love spending a lot of time in the fleet editor, this is going to save you so, so much effort. And it's only been released within the last 24 hours. So definitely make sure you go over to the uh, Steam Workshop and download it. Um, you can keep this one installed without having to um, have everyone in the lobby um having it uh installed and like i said at the very beginning it would be really great to see this in the base game because it is such a great quality of life uh improvement 
all right look i'll leave you there i'll also put a link down in the description so you can go straight to the steam store and download download this one all right thanks for watching and take care